I'm Susan Ortega. And I'm Evan Baxter, and here's what's making news. A potential scandal with the Buffalo PD surfaced today when the mayor demanded that <coughs> when the mayor demanded that the chief, when the mayor demanded that the as a response to allegations of I'm sorry, I'd say perhaps something stuck in my Somebody get him some water, please. <laughs> yeah, it looks like my new co-anchor may need a glass of water. <laughs> <clears throat> Evan, read the teleprompter. The teleprompter's good, just read it. The White House Reception Committee greeted the prime rib roast minister, and I do the cha-cha like a sissy girl. I like a do the cha-cha. I'm sorry, we seem to be having some technical difficulties. <laughs> Good morning, Go High, live from WBUC Studios. I'm Melissa Jones. And I'm Austin Bolin, bringing you the Gulf High News for Monday, September 16th, 2013. Lunch for today will be a choice of PB&J sandwich, hummus combo, chicken Caesar salad, garden entree salad, turkey pot pie bowl, and fresh baked pizza. Here's Miss David, Miss Davis with her award winning announcement. Good morning, Gulf High School. With me I have two of our fine Gulf High School students. I have Mike, Michael, and Emily. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. Doing good. Excellent. Do you guys remember attending a writing boot camp last January where you guys went into room 256 and a group of teachers worked with you on your writing just prior to FCAT yeah. writes? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was a pretty crowded room. Yeah. <laughs> Did you learn a lot that day? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's the deal. I promised those members who went to the writing boot camp and did what they needed to do that if they scored 3.5 or higher, the name would go into a hat and they would go in for a drawing. Y'all remember them talking about that? Yeah. Guess what? You guys won. Because you did what you were supposed to do, and you guys actually went in and you worked hard, and you got great recommendations from your teachers based on what you did in there that day, and your FCAT right scores came back at a 3.5 or higher, okay, which is proficient. You guys are the lucky winners of two brand new mini iPads. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thank you. And guys, I'm going to do that again this year. The bottom line is, is if you do what you need to do and you study hard and, and you really put the effort into your education, great things can happen. And so now these two are going to be walking around with brand new mini iPads. Congratulations. And I'm so proud of your scores. Great job. Team Corps members, please stop by Miss Nybert's room 113, 113 to get your manual unsure. Anyone interested in participating in the Big Brothers Big Sisters program needs to pick up an application in the CRC and return the, and return the complete application to the CRC by Friday, September 19th to join. You must be in 9th to 11th grade, able to commit to mentoring one time per week at Marlow Elementary School and have commitment for a 12 month period. Anyone 16 years or older, there will be a fall blood drive on September 19th. Anyone interested in doing, see Miss Butler in room 107 to get a consent form. Now we'll go to Corporal Mills and Miss Davis for an interesting announcement. Good morning, Gulf High School. I just wanted to take a minute to thank all of you who are doing what needs to be done in school focusing. I've seen great things when I've walked into the classroom. I see student engagement. I see students helping students. And I see active learning taking place. And for that, I'm very, very thankful. And I'm very proud of those students who are doing what needs to be done. So you can graduate from high school and go on to do big, bigger and greater things after you leave Gulf High School. We do, though, have to address a few issues that we've experienced the first four weeks of school. I will not tolerate those few students who are disrupting the learning environment for others. It is not fair that 10% of the students 
create problems for the 90% who are doing their, their job and doing what needs to happen in school. So the bottom line is this. I'm not going to punish those who are doing the correct things by having to lock bathrooms like has happened in the past or removing privileges. What I am going to do is I'm going to continue punishing those who aren't doing what they need to be doing and who are creating an environment that's not conducive to learning. Corporal, last week we had a couple things that took place and I wanted Corporal up here with me so he can support the fact that no more. We're done with that type of behavior. I've had students arrested. I have myself have pressed charges against those students who are not doing what needs to happen. Corporal, what can happen when I press charges? Uh, two things can happen. One, I'll be taking you out to Land O'Lakes Jail in handcuffs and you'll be staying there until your parents can come get you either for a day or two. If it's a uh, severe uh, felony crime, you'll be spending 21 days in uh, JDC, which is all the way out by Dade City. Uh, after that, you're going to have to pay court costs, lawyer fees. You might have to go on probation, play probation costs, take you a year. So if you're looking to get involved in any kind of extracurricular activity or you want to go to a job and, and get a job, they're going to see your record that you have a criminal record and a lot of places won't hire you then. So just stay on your best and, and, and for your upperclassmen, if you see something going on, advise, advise a teacher or let us know, hey, there's something that might be going on. Uh, that's your job as being the more mature and, and the upperclassmen of the school. Thank you, Corporal. The bottom line is this, when 90% of our student body are doing what they need to do and are being fantastic role models, not just for the students, but also for the community of Newport Ritchie, I'm going to reward those 90% by keeping the privileges and, and things in place that make school a little bit more fun than, than it could be, than some of you think it is. But I'm not going to let the 10% who are just being completely out of line or not coming to school and focusing on what needs to happen to ruin it for the others. I will go for expulsion. In fact, I've already written several expulsion letters in the first four weeks of school. So the bottom line is you need to come, you need to do what needs to take place in order to receive an education so you can graduate and move on and do great things as an adult. So again, thank you for a great start to the school year, to those of you who are doing what needs to be doing. Thank you to the teachers, to the students, to all the wonderful things that we see going on as I walk through the halls of Gold High School. And I think Corporal has one more thing and then we're gonna go. For those of you who drive to school, uh, the parking uh, driver safety class will be the 17th, which is tomorrow after school. And then again on the 24th, same time in the media center, if you have not been to the class, you need to show up. You need to pay your $15 and register your vehicle so we can get you a parking passes. As of October 1st, we will be stickering cars that don't have the proper uh, placard in the window. And after the sticker comes the boot, after the boot comes the toe. So get this done, take care of it. It takes five minutes, you know, it's painless. One last thing, I want to do one big plug for Student Council, for Dominique and Emily. They're doing a great job organizing the senior paint your parking space. You guys do it. This is the first that we've ever done at Gulf High School, and I'm looking forward to it to being something that we do every year. So seniors, go see one of those two Student Council members and get your application to paint your, paint your parking space. Have a great day. ERC retakes will begin on Monday, September 16th, and will run through September 23rd. If you need to retake U.S. History, Biology, Algebra 1, or Geometry, report to room 242 at 732, your assigned room. If you are unsure of your room, please visit Mr. DeWalt. See you at the poll at September 25th, where we will pray for our school. If interested, we'll see you there. The word of the day is penitent, which means to be excessively concerned with book learning and formal rules, as in pedagogy's penitent, tendencies prompted him to remind us constantly of all the grammatical rules we were breaking. That's all for our news. Have a great day, Gulf High.